When a piece of sodium metal is added to a flask of chlorine gas, a vigorous reaction takes place that releases a lot of energy, and sodium chloride, a common table salt, forms. The chemical details of sodium chloride formation are similar to the formation of many other simple ionic compounds. Let's view the process of ionic compound formation on the atomic scale. Many chemical reactions occur through a series of steps. In the process of ionic compound formation, the key step is electron transfer from the metal to nonmetal to form oppositely charged ions. As a chlorine molecule approaches the sodium surface, yet before it makes contact, electron transfer occurs. Then a series of rapid steps, too complex to detail here, forms free chloride ions that are attracted to sodium ions and energy is released. Let's isolate the key step and examine a simplified version of it. Electron transfer from a metal atom to a non-metal atom. The sodium atom has 11 protons and 12 neutrons in its nucleus and 11 electrons around the nucleus. The chlorine atom has 17 protons and 18 neutrons in its nucleus and 17 electrons surround it. The sodium atom transfers an electron to the chlorine atom and the ions attract each other and release energy. The loss of the electron converts the sodium atom into a smaller, positively charged sodium ion, Na+, while the gain of the electron converts the chlorine atom into a larger, negatively charged chloride ion, Cl-. Let's view this essential step once more. Electron transfer and ion attraction occurs countless other times between the sodium and chlorine. The large quantities of energy released vaporize tiny clusters of ions, and these attract others and release more energy. The clusters eventually aggregate and coat the walls of the flask. And even though table salt is not obtained this way, the product of this reaction consists of the same regular array of ions that makes up any sample of crystalline sodium chloride.